The Hanford site encompasses 586 square miles of shrub steppe desert in southeastern Washington state. Beginning in 1943, the site was used to produce plutonium for the bomb that brought an end to World War II. Then, in 1947, production was ramped up to meet the challenges of the Cold War and continued until 1987, when the last reactor ceased operation. The weapons production processes left behind tremendous amounts of solid and liquid waste, posing great risk to the local environment and the Columbia River. In 1989, the U.S. Department of Energy, the Environmental Protection Agency, and the Washington State Department of Ecology entered into a legally binding accord, the Triparty Agreement, to clean up the Hanford site. Now, the Hanford site hosts one of the largest nuclear cleanup efforts in the world. Five plants at the center of the site processed 110,000 tons of fuel from nine nuclear reactors along the Columbia River. The result of that process includes an estimated 450 billion gallons of discharged liquid waste to nearby disposal sites and 56 million gallons of radioactive waste to 177 large underground tanks. Well, Hanford started its, um, was, began with the Manhattan Project and lasted for a national security mission of more than 45 years, leaving a fairly significant cleanup effort as a result of that with uh, millions of gallons of of contaminated waste actually dispositioned into the soil. Today we have a uniquely challenging mission of executing that cleanup effort. Um, really have had a tremendous period of progress over the last 30 years with um, more than 900 facilities demolished, more than 1,300 waste sites remediated. Um, we have a very robust groundwater program that treats more than 2 billion gallons of groundwater per year to remove contaminants from the soil. Um, today we stand poised to start the tank waste cleanup mission in just a few years, which will be the next exciting phase of our cleanup work here, which will continue to deliver taxpayer value and risk reduction as a product of our work every single day. As a community, I have been able to leverage a lot of professional and skilled workforce as a result of Hanford being in place and provided great opportunities in our local region for education in the fields around STEM arts and, and education and engineering. It's a great opportunity for this community to be a part of the transformation of, this, of the nuclear industry as it comes into a new age, a new era of safety and culture, which it's always had, but taking that to a next level further on providing opportunities to put energy everywhere in the world in a safe manner and integrating that with other renewable forms of power. Very exciting for the region. Growing up in, in Richland and experiencing what I did as, as a young man, uh, now being more involved with, with Hanford, with uh, being the administrative chair of, of Hanford Communities, what Hanford meant to World War II and how it assisted putting the end to the war and then worked through the Cold War. But now I realize how little the scientists and the creators of this particular energy knew about what the negative impacts were. We want our, our communities to be safe. Uh, we want our, our neighboring communities downriver to be safe, our, our fish and our wildlife. But we also need to make sure that we protect the uh, the natural resources that are out there, because that, it, it's a beautiful place. And uh, the Hanford site was not just the Hanford site to begin with, it was people's homes, it was people's orchards, their livelihood, uh, it was the Native Americans' culture. We not only got to protect what was past, but what our future of our communities. Continued Hanford cleanup progress is critical to the Tri-Cities community but it is an extremely complex and technically challenging effort. These challenges underscore the need to coordinate the efforts of local governments impacted by Hanford and continue to engage community members that call the Greater Mid-Columbia home.